Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my top 5 summer blushes. These are the blushes that I can't wait for summer to roll around to get a nice, you know, warm tan, get some bronzy skin, and I can actually wear these because any other time of the year they're way too pigmented and bright for me to wear with my fair skin. So if you want to see what my top 5 summer blushes are, then just keep watching. All right, there's a lot of Becca in here. I'm just gonna warn you, so I'm gonna get the Becca ones out of the way, but three of my top five are Becca's blushes. And one of them I can kind of wear all year long. I just have to be very light-handed. Um, but that one is, I gotta open them up. I, I don't know which one's which. Of course, it's gonna be the last one I pick. It's Becca's Wild Honey, just a very nice, warm, kind of uh, peachy, terracotta-y, summer color. I love this just to warm up the cheeks. Like if I'm doing bolder eyes or a bolder lip and I just want like a very natural blush, this is what I go to. But if I'm too fair, it looks like aren't like too orangey on my cheeks. So I really only wear it in the summer when I do have some color or if I'm self tanned. I love Becca's formulas for their blushes. They're some of my all time favorites. They're very, very pigmented. So be careful. And this is their, um, matte formula. The other two is their luminous blushes that are very, very shimmery. Um, and those two are these. This is Snapdragon and Tiger Lily. These are the, well, I guess I should have swatched them. I'll swatch them all for you. Um, this is Tiger Lily, the really pretty orange one. And this is Snapdragon, which is the pretty pink fuchsia shade. These, oh, I love these. These just gives such a beautiful luminosity to the cheeks, like a perfect glowy, bronzy summer look, even though it's not like bronzy shades, it still gives you that glow to your skin. Um, I would have to say Tiger Lily, the orange one, is my absolute favorite. These are insanely, insanely pigmented. You can get very carried away very quick, so you have to be very careful. But um, I'll swatch the two luminous ones for you first. I don't think I'm ever going to run out of these because you need such a small amount. Um, but I do, oh, I love this tangerine shade. I don't know what it is, but something about orange blushes with a tan just makes me happy inside. But uh, the one by the wrist is Snapdragon and this one is Tiger Lily. Again, just beautiful, beautiful shades. Perfect for summer. Um, absolutely love them. And then let me wipe these off my finger and I will swatch uh, the wild honey which is oh, so pretty too just so peachy and warm and that's the one by my knuckles definitely love these blushes these are my top three go-to summer blushes um, as you can see they're they're pretty bright um, at least these two anyway are very bright like I said, I definitely have to have some sort of color to my skin to pull these off, otherwise I look crazy. All right, the next blush I talked about a few times on my channel, I can wear this fair, but it looks really gorgeous with a tan, and that is the Ofra blush. Ofra did send this to me, um, and this is their blush in Bellini, which is just a really pretty pinky peach shade, a very neutral, everyday, maybe no makeup, makeup blush when you're tan. It's just... It's so beautiful I, and it's very pigmented, um, but it's definitely a more toned down blush than the other three I just showed you. Um, just a very pretty peachy blush. It looks good when you have a tan and you're just going for some low key makeup. Um, definitely recommend it. I love Ofra's blush formula. They're very creamy, very blendable. They're not chalky. Okay, this next one is probably my favorite favorite summer blush. It is by Hourglass and it is called Diffused Heat. And this gives you that, like you were just out in the sun all day and you got a, maybe a little bit of a burn to your cheeks. Just beautiful. It has like the luminosity of their like highlighting powders, but mixed with a very pigmented blush. I mean, this is like corally red. And when you put it on your cheeks, it looks like you were out in the sun and you got a little bit too much sun, but you get that pretty like ready cheeks, like pinky glow underneath. I love this blush. I highly recommend it. I would love to get more blushes from Hourglass, but they're just so expensive. 
I just, I can't bring myself to do it. But this one is gorgeous. It's very, like I said, um, corally shade. It's just very luminous, but it's not like the Becca ones where it's almost like a glittery pow highlighter in your face luminous. This is more like a lit from within luminous glow, just much like a lot of all the other Hourglass products are. They're very natural on the skin. So this really does look so beautiful on the skin. If you have a tan and you add this to it, it just makes, it just looks so natural. Um, so I definitely love this. This is one of my all time favorite blushes for the summer. I can't wait for the summertime to pull it out. And I lost it for like a good year once. And I was so upset. I couldn't find it. I went, I almost bought it again. Come to find out, my little 10 year old daughter at the time, she was 10, jacked it out of my makeup collection and had it. She was, but mommy, you gave that to me. I was like, girl, I did not give you no $48 blush. Like, no, mommy did not, no. So me and her had some words. We sat down and we talked about not touching mommy's, you know, higher end makeup. You can play with anything else. So she learned, she learned, but I almost like held a funeral for it and everything. It was really sad, but she had it the whole time. Thankfully she didn't destroy it. I do love this blush, definitely beautiful on tan skin. But anyway, that was my top five summer blushes. Let me know down below what your summer blush favorites are, like what do you wear during the summertime when your skin is a little bit more kissed by the sun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will definitely be doing my summer essentials coming up shortly. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit more into summer. We're still in May, but you know. I'm trying to rush summer because I want summer so bad. But I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.